all right welcome back to my channel uh if you guys have ever run into the problem of getting powder spillage while using an auto indexing um progressive press uh, this is a little workaround that i've found uh, that's working good for me at least with this uh particular press the uh the hornady ap so what i'm i'll show you what i'm doing here now obviously i'm using wade charges so i'm you know dumping my own uh charges here i'll uh i'll get a few going this first uh station here is just an expander mandrel so i'll get to the I'll get to the actual powder dispensing here. All right, here we go. So I got a charge over here weighed out, ready to go. Now, if I were to just raise or lower the ram and let it index on its own, usually when it snaps into place, that little bit of jar is enough to knock some powder out of the top of your cases. Um, but what I've noticed, if I just lay my finger down right here, that slows the the uh, and i mean i'm i'm holding on to it pretty good but that slows it down enough to where it won't do this uh yeah i've not put a bullet in here yet so let me get me going going here now when you raise it up it also on this particular press it indexes a half turn on its way up too so you got to remember to do it then too so just lay your finger here and there you go it's a uh, no powder spillage and uh, i missed uh because I got to talking, I, I forgot to put another, um, and I've just been pulling this one out instead of waiting for it to come around. That's been the easier thing in my experience to do. So now I put another piece in, and anywhere you lay your finger on here, you know, oh, I don't know if I put a bullet in or not. Nope. And I don't think I have any more brass set out out over there ready to prime. So, again, just putting my finger on here. I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to remember to put a bullet in this time. And there I went seating it. I don't really have to put my finger there now because of the, there wasn't a case up there with powder in it. Now I will. but that's a pretty good little trick there uh, that i've recently discovered so if you're having issues with uh you know powder flying out of your cases like uh you know if you just let the press do its thing that jar I mean, you can see how much the cases move around every time you do that so that little snap is enough to, especially if your cases are getting pretty close to full of powder. Uh, I've noticed, you know, little kernels of powder floating around. And, you know, we go to all this trouble to weigh our charges out nearly to the kernel, um, if not to the kernel. And then, you know, when your press moves around, you can you can get some knocked out. But this is a, a good way to, to work around that, that I have found anyway. It might work with a Dillon or some other type of uh, auto indexing progressive press as well. But anyway, for the, for the Hornady, it works pretty good. So thanks again for watching and hope this little tip helps you guys out.